Hey guys, Hook to Clash here, and today we're going to go through my unluckiest day ever in Legends. And we're going to go through each attack and just try and pull apart where it went wrong in it, and what I could have done better to save it, because that's one of the biggest things in Legends, is lots of times things go wrong, but it's about how you recover it that shows how good a Legends League player you are. So let's get into this attack here. As you can see, on this base, I decided to Blizzard, sorry, I decided to Blizzard from like 9 o'clock here, and I wanted to land the Blizzard on this ground bow in the core, because if I get there, then I can get so much value. But look at this. Look at how close the invisibility gets, but not quite. And unfortunately, as you can see here, all my Blizzard's really low health, because the bomb tower, you know, was destroyed as they landed there. And look at that, I got absolutely no buildings with this blizzard. I damaged a lot of buildings, but we got absolutely no buildings. Now, the plan was originally to get the blizzard bomb in there and then Sui for the town hall. But because of how this started, I kind of need to do the same Sui, but then change it up a bit. I'm not sure I can get the town hall anymore. So I actually switched it up on the fly. As you can see, I put the baby drag at 10 o'clock and the wizard also kind of at 10. And basically, I'm trying to force my king and queen into the single compartment here to get as much as possible. Now, I haven't thought about my Lalo yet, unfortunately. We pop the king there. Um, he goes to the outside and pulls the CC. The queen's actually going to get into the core here and do some good work. Uh, that's just a horrible poison. That is, that's just an unforgivable poison, unfortunately. Luckily, look what my queen gets. She gets the uh, multi in the core. She gets the... Uh, ground bow. Unfortunately, though, this CC hasn't really been dealt with because that was the worst poison in history. We put a few minions onto the baby drag here, but look, I'm pretty sure that, yep, <laughs> that wasn't a very smart idea. And now, at this point, you can see I'm at 28%. So I was thinking if I Lalo into the town hall, I can't guarantee that I will activate it. Now, I probably would have because with, uh, with the air defense at the top there, uh, this one here, right next to the town hall. One of the pups that fly off from the hound would probably get it. But I decided to Lalo from the far side of the town hall because I kind of backed myself in um, to Lalo the whole way. Yes, the sewer didn't go perfect, but if I could just uh, Lalo most of the way. Also, as you can see, I have saved my RC. As you can see, I deploy her there. And I'm just trying to have the town hall activate as soon as she walks up to it. And honestly, I do a pretty good job of it. I've saved one freeze for her. We use it there. But unfortunately, look how much damage the ground warden did and this ground bow is doing. It's getting close. The hound is coming over. But look, it's just not quite enough there. And that is why the big thing we're going to learn from this attack is if you're going to send your RC into the town hall to save it, you better have more than one free spell. If, especially if I'm sending her straight into the Grand Warden altar. And look at this, that hound that I poisoned so poorly. All its pups are going around and destroying. I actually had a chance of like this warden taking out the town hall. Not a high chance, but we had a chance regardless. But unfortunately, because I messed up the... Because uh, I messed up the blimp, and because I messed up the... Uh, because I messed up my RC, we take the one start there. And this was the first attack of the day, so this was not a good start. So make sure you have multiple freezes for the town hall. And just Lalo into... Especially if there's an air defense right next to the town hall, make sure you Lalo into it. Okay, here's the next really unlucky attack on my day of unluckiness. We'll skip through this uh, start part of the attack. As you can see here, though, this is kind of an awkward base to hit. Because um, getting a blimp to the town hall is possible, but I tried to land a blimp on the eagle, and look at that, yet again. Not only do we miss the invisibility, but we kind of miss our rage. If I got it in that compartment there, we would have gutted the whole base, but unfortunately, I sent the, uh, I sent my, um, I sent my blimp over all of this, we'll actually pause this for a sec, we sent the blimp over all of this open space here, and there was just bound to be a Sam, it would have been much better sending my loons at like the arch tower, I think that was here, and then sending the blimp straight over, uh, it would have gar less likely guaranteed getting one of these scatter shots, but it just would have been the safer approach, so when you're going for a riskiest, risky blimp, sorry, definitely take the safer approach, now, at this point, I'm like, I can get, I'm just going to try and get um, what my blimp didn't get with my heroes. And this is mistake number two, because as you're going to see later in the attack, 
There is not a lot of loon pathing around the town hall. In fact, this base is deliberately, deliberately set up so the Lalo doesn't path to the town hall. So, another thing is, with Blizzard Lalo, just take the town hall with the Sui or the Blizzard. Like, yes, some of the time, there's going to be very rare circumstances where you can get away with it. But 9 times out of 10, it is so much better. Now, we do actually get solid value out of this Sui, to be fair. Um, the RC gets the Wizard Tower, and we've created some sort of path. We've cut the funnel in the base for the most part. Uh, we freeze to keep the witches in the um, uh, the witches inside the poison spell there, and like we've we've gutted a fair amount of the base. I don't think we get this single. But that's fine, honestly. That's not going to do too much to the Lalo. And at this point, I'm still in triple or nothing mode. Unfortunately, we didn't actually use the ice gun with the Sui. I just completely forgot to put it down. It tanks the scatter, which is nice. Um, so the scatter doesn't get really any shots off onto the Lalo, so that's that's pretty good, honestly. That's worth the free spell. But as you can see, I've deployed most of my Lalo at this point, because I just assumed it would go into the Town Hall, but I'm sure you can all see it now. It doesn't matter if I bring a perfect freeze. It doesn't matter if I do it perfectly here. The, L the Lalo's going around the Town Hall. Now, that's a good freeze. It gets the Queen and the, uh, and the Town Hall, but we have to pop the Warden ability here. Super unfortunate this stage. Now, we still have lots of balloons, uh, but it's obviously not going to be enough versus the Queen and the Town Hall. The Lalo does go down and take this entire bottom compartment, actually. It ends up being really close, but yet again, make the only way you should be Laloing to, into the Town Hall when you're doing this Blizzard attack is if you guaranteed have pathing to it. And I did not have pathing to it, and I paid the ultimate price here with a second one star on the day. Alright, we're into the next attack here, and this is actually a pretty common base. And this uh, this attack um, strategy, whatever you want to call it, this attack I do on the base is actually, I, I kind of rate this way. This base is tough to get with Blizzard Lalo, but this is the, uh, the best way I've personally seen to take it out. So you Blizzard the Town Hall, don't use the Rage there. Unfortunately, my Super Wizards don't really deal with the CC. Some of the time you see that, but doesn't happen here. As you're going to see, though, a Tesla pops there, so I just decide to take it out with a couple of balloons. Yes, that means I only have 24 loons for the Lalo now, but if you Lalo well, that's often enough. Sorry. Then the Baby Drag comes in for the Ice Hound here. Unfortunately, that means I have to sit here for a long time, though. Uh, I have to be very patient at this point. I use a Wizard as well to help out. Poison comes down, and we finally deal with that. But as you can see, a minute has surpassed on the attack. Anyways, the plan is to send the uh, King and Queen into this compartment here. I'm sorry I'm pausing it, but there's a special reason why. And then have the RC and the Ice Golem come into this one. Now, unfortunately, I placed my Queen here for this building there. But given there, there's absolutely no chance she can walk this way, I definitely should have placed her a lot higher, like here-ish. Because uh, uh, you're going to see here, she's going to walk for this spell factory. And that it puts my attack in a lot of trouble here. So we'll go back to one times. The king pops his ability. He does a pretty good job. But the reason that you want the queen in this core compartment is uh, once she clears out everything from... Oh, not the core compartment, sorry. This compartment on the left here. Once she, If she clears out everything from there, she often beats through the wall to get the core multi. And that's the biggest difficulty on this base. Now, the RC's done a fabulous job on the bottom. We used one headhunter to help her out with the enemy RC. Now, the RC clears all that good stuff. My queen actually does a good job here. Uh, she's going to go into the core and get rid of the scatter shot. But this multi is going to stay up. But the biggest thing takeaway from this attack is... There was no reason for me to be waiting there. I've only just deployed my Lalo, and there's a minute and 10 seconds on the clock. Even if I Lalo this perfectly, even if I Lalo this perfectly, it's very difficult to triple what is 50% of the base in 60 seconds. So uh, we get most of the loons down with the early deployment. I uh, get the headhunter down. I make it invisible, uh, but unfortunately I make the defensive coin invisible as well. I was trying to be really uh, smart with that, but that was not smart at all. And look, this queen ends up staying up for a long time here. We freeze her. Now, a lot of the pups are on her. Look at all those red bombs in the core. Rip, but there's actually not a lot left on the base. 
And we've got two freezes left. There goes the first one. We raged in the core. That's where you're meant to use the rage for this attack, by the way, just in case there's a core Tesla farm. We freeze yet again. And look, this is looking like it's going to be a triple. We turn this one around. This is a pretty good Lalo. Uh, the headhunter and the invisibility was the only real downside. But in case you didn't remember, yeah, look at that. A 95%. That was a really good Lalo, honestly. I was pretty happy with that one. But I was too busy uh, focusing on the fact that my queen didn't go in and watching her, watching everything she did, that I gave myself no chance to triple. Honestly, the latest you want to go in with the Lalo is a minute 15. And here's the next attack here. Uh, this is a reasonably common ring base. I'm sure you've all seen ones like it. Uh, so it's all about just picking an area to get your uh, blimp deep into the core. Now, I kind of mess up here. I was trying to land the blizzard outside this compartment, but the blimp makes it one tile too far, unfortunately. So that was the biggest thing from the start of this attack. Don't mess up your blizzard, like where you're landing it. It's the easiest part of the blizzard. You can mess up the invisibility spell timing, and I totally understand that. But uh, don't mess up the... Uh, don't mess up actually where the blimp lands. In saying that, we do get good value out of this, but had I landed it here and they all split like the same way, we could have gutted so much of the base here. Uh, so it's not overall not a bad outcome, but should have been a better one. I kind of get lucky here. The king was absolutely going to move right, but the, he comes back for the skeletons. So he's going to come back left, which is where I want him because I'm going to send the king and queen in at like seven o'clock. Um, and try and just destroy that part of the base here and see how far they can go. Now, with these core town halls, as we, as uh, it's quite tough with the blizzard like that, with these core town halls, you either got to get it with the blizzard, which maybe I should have. Maybe I should have. I haven't really thought about that till right now, but maybe I should have landed it uh, here instead of here. Anyways, um, what you got to do is save your RC. Don't use your RC with your Sui hooked here being an absolute idiot. Now, with the RC here, we're going to get huge value from this Sui. Like, the value is insane. Do not get me wrong. But we should have saved her for the Town Hall. We should have saved her for the Town Hall. Now, we can't guarantee she would have got it, but she would have taken a sizable chunk out of the uh, out of the Town Hall there. Let's see, though. If I get the Scatter Shot, it's probably worth it. But look, we don't get the Scatter Shot there. And because we use the early Headhunters... For the queen, she goes down. Look at this E-drag, though, just chilling. This E-drag was a little concerning at this point in time. Now, I try and haste on the top side to force some loons into the town hall. But look, this Grand Warden altar kills, like, three balloons. Three balloons. And uh, now we have no path into the town hall. And then the worst freeze I have ever done in my life. I cannot believe I did that freeze. I was so sad about that freeze at the time. Kills all my remaining balloons. And look at this. The town hall's just chilling. I had to lalo like 11 buildings. It wasn't much. But the town hall and the scatter and a really bad warden and freeze mean they all die. And look at this. There is like no base up. There is no base up. But hooked as a noob. Could have, if I saved the RC for the lalo, that's a triple. If I freeze the town hall, that's a triple. If I freeze something else, just anything to keep all the balloons alive, that is a triple. But when you're having a bad day, you have a bad day. So yet again, make sure if you if it's impossible to get the town hall with the blizzard or the sui, please do everything in your power to get it, especially on bases like this. Okay, here we come in here. I'm sure you've all seen this base before. Now, honestly, from what I've heard, the best way to get this base is to land like a blimp, like just here on the outside there. Find a way to trigger like any giant bombs, particularly like this bomb tower here before, and land it here. And often you'll find you get like all of this with like the super wizard chains. So that's what I've heard is the best way to take it out. I wanted to try something different here because, you know, when you've done three one stars in the day, why not try something risky? I was not in a headspace. I was pretty triggered, safe to say that. So we come in from the left side. This hound's actually going to do a good job tanking. And I was trying to get this blizzard into the core. But yet again, have a look at the sort of day I'm having. This is the third blimp that you, just you guys have seen. Where my blizzard bomb has come like centimeters short of making it into the compartment I want. In saying that, we still get good value from here. I was honestly happy enough to get here. Because look 
at the chunk of the base that's gone here. The super wizards clear out a nice funnel and a huge chunk of the base. Now, we learn from our attack here, but yet again, look at this. The ice hound is going to be kind of huge here, because look at, yet again, we've got to use the baby drag for the ice hound, but the baby drag takes a really long time, and you can't put it down your heroes during it, otherwise the ice hound will run after your heroes. So the baby drag, we've just got to wait for it to take out the ice hound. So, here's like a tip for you all, like, if you're scared of like, this strategy, like the, um, the blizzard lala on your base, I personally think the ice hound's the best, uh, the best defense against it, because it takes so much time to deal with like it's just stupid how long it takes to deal with uh, the ice pops I think don't quite win against my baby drake, but they get close I put my king down two Tesla's pop so I get two loons down on it just to take it out to force my king the right way He goes the right way, which is perfect. We get down the ice golem super early here We get the freeze of that and it actually freezes the queen So we'll put down the headhunter on the queen here Pop the king, RC is coming in to help, and look at this, we are actually suing for the town hall. Now, obviously we are, there's two scatter shots near the town hall and every hero, but we are actually going to secure the town hall with this. Now, I probably should have frozen here, um, but unfortunately, I'm too busy learning from my mistakes. As you can see, we started the Lalo at about 1 minute 15, which is fine, that's the absolute last time. We'll try and keep track of everything, but look at this, we had to pop the queen and the RC on the town hall, and look, that scatter shot, one health. It literally has one health left on it. That's super unfortunate for the, us there, but we definitely should have used a freeze for it. We had three freezes available, and think of what I need to freeze on this Lalo. It's not a whole lot. But as you can see, the one downside of my Lalo here is I have used up all my balloons. I have no spare loons for any flanking defenses, and have a look at what this Archer Tower and Air Defense is gonna do at the top. Now, I'm constantly freezing this uh, multi, by the way, have a look at that. I used my super wall breaker to take out the scatter shot. I felt very smart when I did that. But as you can see, because we've used up all our balloons way too early, they all clump up um, and we don't get a split on them, which is a bit unlucky, but I should have saved like three, four, um, I should have saved like three or four uh, loons for this flanking archer tower and Tesla, and look at what they're gonna do. This Arch Tower is turned on my trash bill, uh, my trash clean up here. Takes out a bunch of minions, and look at it, we are at 8%. It's kind of unfortunate, this baby drag would have taken out the CC and the core, but there was a lava pup with it, but look at that, we end at 98%. We've got like 12 loons up, but it was just that sort of day. So yes, in the big things from this one was, don't deploy all your loons too early, especially like, Aside from that multi, there wasn't a lot of things that we needed loons in the core for. It's not like some of the other attacks where we needed to push our loons into the core early on. Honestly, this with this one, should have saved a few loons there, but it was just indicative of the day I was having. Now, that is all the attacks I'm going to show you guys today. So we can have a look at the log we had, and it was not pretty. Look at that. We end up with 208, but look, a 75% one star. A 93% 2 star, which uh, wasn't a time fail, but was close. A 99% 2 star. A 95% 1 star. A 95% 1 star. A 90, uh, 2 star, sorry. 94% 1 star. We got a triple eventually, and that last attack was a time fail as well. So, I think this is the unluckiest Legends Day I've ever seen from someone. I think over the last 7 attacks of the day, I, I dropped 26% in base terms but somehow didn't even average two stars. So what a crazy day. I hope you guys learned something from today, like in terms of, yes, I'm generally, I'm kind of known as a good attacker, but even the good attackers have bad days. We're all human and we need to make sure we learn from these mistakes so that we can come back stronger. Let's see what we can come back with today. I'm going to bang out these Legends hits just after the recording here. So I wonder if we'll learn from it. We'll see. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully, i see you soon.